เด็กชาวเมืองสกลียนมักเฟลซึนกูนายท์เฮ้ยกูดอะไรไอ้คุณไม่รู้ว่าอะไรจะเห็น My eyes had to be telling me lies, so I whispered to my ears and told them not to listen. <laughs> But it was too late. The loud scent of her fragrance had already risen, and my heart had already given her the sanctions of a prospective lover. I know they say you must not judge a book by its cover. But I was working under cover, <laughs> not to get her under covers, but simply to uncover who was the specimen reminiscent of a magazine cover. Matter of fact, forget that. She looked way better than those women on the magazines, because the women in the magazines don't even look like the women on the magazines. Photo shopped, cropped, resized, manipulate eyes, hips and thighs, removing the love handles from the size, light and skin, strength and chin, full of lips, perky and nips, cut nip, talk, flatten, got enhanced, but leaving the image to process. For some time. Voila, Frankenstein. She was not. Likely burned her own self. The way she was hot, probably heard she was beautiful so many times it became indicative like a chorus. She had to be conceived in a hearse because she was drop dead gorgeous. <laughs> And fashionably dressed, minus the customary flower. Plastered all over the chest, <laughs> here exquisitely styled to impress. You better believe, not the caliber of woman to any flamboyant ratchet we. <laughs> And please, 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 don't get offended. I'm only stating facts. But she was not a professional DJ. There wasn't any need to see her tracks. Adorned with stylish earrings that trickle from her earlobes like an open faucet, a stark contrast from the huge letters from the kids' alphabet booklet. The type of female you bring home to mother, outfitted respectably from head to toe, not the loud local Gaza Kobo. As I passively progressed to precariously peer at her pugnacious protruding posterior, a pro presented a powerful picture of a Pisces, provocatively placed above the peak of a provoking partition, presumably painted by Picasso himself with screen perfection. I immediately had an introspection. As the magnitude in which the media's fixation influenced my visual interpretations, constantly being bombarded via social media, movies, and television, purporting the objectification of women for monetary gratification, yet we must see the correlation. If she was selling seashells by the seashore in a two-piece bikini, the vast amount of seashells she would sell, because at the end of the day, sex sells, resonating in our ears like church bells. We must bid our society farewell. Because until we start uplifting our people and consciously make a change in our minds, we will remain entrenched wholeheartedly on moral breadlines. But I will continue this intriguing discourse some other time because I was at this party to have a good time. And after waiting more than an hour in a long line, I think it's reasonable to be rewarded with just a little while. 
She floated within my periphery as if she was on cloud now. Then suddenly looked behind and by that time I was in close proximity behind. Her behind. <laughs> but her personal space I respected and did not breach. She uttered ever so gently, Wait, is that guy from? I said, yes, dear. Free speech. <laughs> she said, oh, oh, it was at that moment I knew that my why was sure. I was on the right track, following the course keener than a Santa Rosa racehorse who vexed loss. I embraced the words of the late great Arthur Napoleon Raymond Robinson and attacked. <laughs> With full force. <laughs> With her consent, of course. I could not fathom encountering a woman so stunning, sweet, and petty as we constructively gyrated to the infectious soca beat. Marshall tune came on, so I know I was in for a treat. I repositioned my feet and gripped on tighter than a fitted sheet. <laughs> it was at that point I could feel that the bumper was to read. My grandmother always say, who don't hear us? Me. Well, I wanted to feel. So I held on to that boom we. My heel accidentally stepped on a shoe. Unfortunately for me, it belonged to a man tall like bamboo, larger than Shaman, whose face had already turned jet blue. He pointed angry and said, boy, I go kill you. I humbly apologize, said it was never my intention. The velocity of acceleration directed towards my midsection adversely affected my rotary transmission. <laughs> Leading to a breakdown in suspension, no need for all this tension. Take your time. Even the World Health Organization states that every two in ten party goers does get mash from excessive wine. As his clenched fist rose, <sighs> my body froze. As the stench of possible death infiltrated my nose, I had already mathematically calculated my blows. 300 pounds divided by my Kublai Singh frame. <laughs> equals to two droplets a week from peeing my clothes. I took a shot straight to my head. No chaser. Folding up like crumpled paper, the glimmer of light I saw it had to be my maker. And soon we were to be wed, as I fully opened my eyes to my surprise and raised for I fall off my bed. <laughs>